Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to fully understand the Red Flood. The Red Flood mod by my boy Ignas. A Lithuanian nationalist explaining the terrors that the Lithuanians are facing and also focusing a lot on alternative history. Or at least so I thought. <clears throat> but, but, yes, no, the entire Red Flood mod about Russia being taken over by Kolchak. It, 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 it might, I, I don't know anymore, it might exist. Hey, so, let me tell you a story. <laughs> I'm losing it here, I'm losing it. Let me tell you a story. So, I wanted to know about this alternative history, to understand it fully from the source itself. So I look up the Red Flood, and I look up Mr. Ignas, and I find him. And I find only a Swedish and a Lithuanian Wikipedia page. I look at the Swedish and I find the book, The Red Flood. And I find the book in my local library. Twelve examples only left in Sweden. This one is from 1941, copyrighted 1941. And I thought, well, this is going to be an amazing read. I go home. I read the first 50 pages. And it's boring. But that's not it. It's all right, all right, all right. Um, maybe it's not that boring. So what the hell is in this? Well, you follow the adventure of Ignas. <laughs> Ignas riding in a car with, his, with four of his friends to a farm where he explains the fog about ten different times on the, on the way to the farm where they're staying for a night. Oh, but you see the fog, you lo- <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it's so bad. And the worst part is, if you want to know, this is not even the correct book. I got the fucking wrong book. So he has made two Red Flood mods. Oh, sorry, Red Flood books. <laughs> and I got the wrong book. The real book doesn't exist in Swedish. It exists in Polish and probably Lithuanian, but it's written in Swedish. Like the first goddamn book. Motherfucker, the book was written in Swedish. But it's not here. And I got the red book, uh, the red flood. But, but the difference is, the mistake I did, it's the red flood rises. Is this one. The other one is just the red flood. But I thought it was like a translation thing. But no. Uh, this one is a diary, by the way. The fucking worst, boringest piece of... Ugh. Like, I know so much about Lithuania now, it's... It, it goes... I don't get the point. It's about fear, it's about, oh, Lithuania will no longer be independent. Yes, which was what the fucking first book was about, The Red Flood. But I got the wrong goddamn book, and the real book doesn't exist. Let me read it's from this book. And... Autumn corn, where it shines up the farm with the corn and other stuff. Sometimes you hear a bird's. Oh, it's, it's awful! And you think it's like, oh, no, he's just explaining the environment. It's like, it can genuinely be me and the bishop, or blah, 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 blah. He being blah 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 is on and on and on and on. We had food, the food brown, the food like if you think American Psycho, that book is boring, this, my friend, is boring. Because I mean American Psycho is like explaining in detail the food. That's thrilling. This ain't. And the point of this book, alright. So back to who he is as a person. The point of this book is to explain in such a detail that you are there with him. It's imprinting, yeah? He's 
putting himself on the paper for you to understand or imprint yourself into his position fully so you can understand every aspect of what's around him. Which can be nice, you know, it can be nice to fully immerse yourself in the story. The only issue is he writes like a fucking donkey. And the second being, it's so long. Like, th th I think the car ride takes about 10 pages. And sure, it's some detail there, like, uh, about the people there, but it's genuinely way too fucking long. And it doesn't suck you in because the writing is dog. <sighs> but that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's my point of it. That's, uh, ah. So yeah, this is not actually a review on the Red Flood mod or the Red Flood story because I don't fucking have it. I thought this was it. I was very happy. It ain't nothing about Kolchak and ultranationalism. In this book, it's just about his story about being in Lithuania. Like, the story is about the red coming in that's the point of the red flood the red flood is the soviet menace and you go into the capital of vilnius and explain it there in detail of what what is happening how uh, about the polish uh, polish refugees the soviet troops are there sort of the relation in between it a lot about the polish troops is about like understanding how they feel about russia how they feel about lithuania what they're doing to sort of um, deal with the situation in Lithuania. And it's detail. It's in detail, such in detail that you know what they're eating. You know you know how much they're eating, what they're getting for to drink every day of the week. Like it tells them in detail, like 50 grams of, uh, I think it was some sort of corn. You know it all, it's in the fucking book. And it's like, I don't give a shit. Like, I understand that books can be fillers, like a, like a lot of books is filling up a full important situation, but there's nothing here that is of importance, it's filling, and it feels like the entire thing is filling, like the way he writes it. So he goes into detail about the Soviet, I haven't read, I haven't read 100 pages, I ain't reading more, you ain't, I ain't reading 200 pages more, this boring dribble. God, a book review, this is a book review. Yeah, it goes into detail how the babushka <laughs> of 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 Belinius was was taken away, and it goes into the detail how the Soviets kind of did it. They, they did it without telling. It's like if you were an enemy of the communists, you kind of just got removed, and it's like, how was that? You didn't know. It's like one day, uh, but Olga Babushka didn't come home, <laughs> didn't come home, and that was about it. It's like, yeah, those sort of understanding of stories we understand that, that that has been explained before but the way he does it, it's so fucking long it's a hundred pages and it feels like you're reading i don't fucking no i don't give a shit it's not like a hundred pages of oh this is thrilling oh something is happening oh this is his life no it's instead of going into detail like you know when you tell a story when you tell a story you know something interesting happened to me you tell sort of a little bit of background so the person knows Sure, you can have some emotional feelings in there, but then you tell the story. This is filler. This is like introduction to something that will not, I don't know what's going to happen. <clears throat> so now I understand a bit more. The issue that these books had, they're named pretty much the same, which causes a lot of confusion. And the man didn't really, you know, if you looked at the Lithuanian uh, texts, they're actually named the same. But weirdly enough, there's a small difference. It, it doesn't make it easy for me to understand what book is what, and I'm very confused. Even now, I'm confused what book is the correct book. Uh, because the book I have, it was written in 1945, if I'm correct. Or at least published in 1945. But the copyright is from 1941. Which makes no sense. So there's a lot of overall confusion. But yeah, so the guy, his entire way of writing is to make you understand as much as possible in emotional feelings like make you get make you be there make you understand everyday life he talks a lot about women and he talks about pretty women on the street the guy is 50 when he writes this by the way how spring has now come and they have beautiful gowns on and how the russian soldiers don't looking at they're not looking at the lithuanian women they don't want the lithuanian it, it's 
He's trying to explain as much as he possibly can about the situation in Lithuania during the time in 1940, as much as possible, but God, it's boring. It's boring. So yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm guessing if anyone has the actual Red Flood book, uh, I would pay you for, to send it to me because I would love to have it because this one is bad. So yeah, no, I got nothing else to say. Goodbye. This was an awful experience. I hated it. The book sucked. <laughs>